Paul, many of the inductees were actually born in the Gulf South, but others hail from the likes of North Carolina, California, and even Denmark. But after tonight, their legacies will be forever linked with the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. Lisa was always saying, just have fun. And so we tried to do that last night. We got in Slick's car, and at 60 years old, the man is screaming at the top of his lungs to Justin Bieber. <laughs> Todd Walker was arguably the best infielder in the country at the time he played at LSU. And because of that, he is honored in the LSU Athletic Hall of Fame and the College Baseball Hall of Fame. Now he takes his place in another Hall of Fame here in Natchitoches. The only way to put it into perspective is to think of all the athletes who have come from this state of Louisiana and the history. Uh, and only a select few of us are, are in the Hall of Fame here. Um, what do you say about that? It's just incredible. One of those Louisiana athletes is Lafayette's Buford Jordan, who played college ball at McNeese State, then stayed in Louisiana to play pro ball, both for the USFL's Breakers and for seven seasons with the Saints. It has been a dream ride for Jordan. I guess that, that to show that I've how great of a life I've had, you know, to get an honor like this and, you know, uh, not really thinking I did that much you know, um, to deserve it, you know, because I had a lot of help from a lot of people. Helping people, namely kids, is what Don Shouse has done for 29 years as one of the legends of high school football. He has won state championships and coach of the year honors, but his greatest accomplishment is the impact he has made on his players. I've always thought that if a teacher or a coach could save the life and or turn the life of one kid around, that there'd be a place in heaven. I certainly hope that's true. <laughs> a kid that played for me a long time ago who was a problem as a freshman, sophomore, junior, turned his life around and uh, became a leader on our football team, graduated, and a year later he died of cancer. And I'm just so thankful for that kid, what he did in his life, and you know, he'll never be forgotten by me. Skipper Hurd goes into the Hall of Fame namely for his impact on college football. As LSU's second athletic director, he came up with the idea of Saturday night at Tiger Stadium. Kyla Hall's impact on Louisiana College Athletics came at Louisiana Lafayette, where this softball pioneer helped lead the Raging Cajuns to their first Women's College World Series. She is the fourth softball player in the hall, and with the explosion of the sport, she knows many more will be following in her footsteps. I think it's going to be just one of those things. It's going to be a hard case every year not to put someone in, and, and that's what I'm just so glad for now. If they see what we represent and what we were able to do, it's going to be a tough decision every year when they vote. Morton Anderson spent 13 of his 25 years in the NFL kicking for the Saints, and along the way in his NFL career made 77% of his field goal attempts. From Denmark to the Louisiana Hall of Fame, it's been quite the journey for Anderson. Only in America. What a country. What a country. That a 17-year-old boy that didn't know anything about the game could come over here and uh, pursue his dream that he didn't even know was his dream at the time, but just have passion for this sport. And I feel really honored and humbled to be here tonight to stand next to seven other great athletes. Anderson's teammate during those years was Vaughn Johnson, who on Saturday became the final member of the Dome Patrol to go into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. I'm excited, man, to be in here with my uh, Dome Patrol family. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm thankful and appreciative, and I'm a, I'm a humble man tonight. Thank you, Louisiana people, for letting me be part of you. Thank you so much, and for committing you, for committing you, to allow me to uh, be a part of New Orleans. The Hall's other 2011 inductee is Slick Watts, an NAIA All-American at Xavier University, who went on to play six NBA seasons, where he was an All-Pro, and in 1975-76, led the league in steals and assists. This is just like the icing on a good, good, nice cake. So I think this is even better, because as you grow older, you learn to appreciate things a lot more. A great honor for all of the inductees, and what a terrific class here in 2011. They will move into their permanent home when the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame opens here in Natchitoches next year. But that's the story up here. Back to you guys in the Louisiana Machinery Studios.